Hi, I'm going to do just a quick video on how to load a flight plan into the PMDG 747 unprepared V5. First thing you need to make sure is that you've put the flight plan into the PMDG folder. So the location for that is in the drive where you've got your P3D. Program files. Lockhead Martin. Prepare free DV5. PMDG. Flight plans. 747. And in there you can see I've got the EGLL to KORD Heathrow to Chicago flight plan in there already. So that needs to be in there for this to work. So the next section um, is to wait for the FMCs to come alive. So we wait for the IRS to align. Currently we've got one minute to align them. So you will see once it takes down to zero the maps will come alive. I've got FMCs one, two and three in that order. Once this gets to zero you'll see the direct D-link on FMC3 light up, so it's available. On the first one, you go into FMC, you go to position the niche, reference airport is Heathrow, E G L L. The gate we're at is 553. That will give us the gate coordinates. On the line of gate 553, where the coordinates are, click the line next to it so you the coordinates copy to the bottom and paste them in the set IRS position using the right hand tabs. Then go to root, it's E G L L is our departure. You can now see that the um, IRS is aligned now and come alive and the D link slit up on number three. Destination is Chicago, K Ord. Runway will be used, we don't need to fill that in yet. Um, we'll do that once the flight plan's uploaded. Um, our flight number is Speedbird BAW297. Okay, once you've got that data in, you then go over to the FMC3 and go click the D link button. Then ACAS and then pre flight. Once you're in the pre-flight, again you've got a copy of the same similar data. So it's Heathrow, E G L L, it's a departure airport. Or K Ord for Chicago goes into destination station. Our estimated departure time. Don't think we're gonna make this now. But we're gonna go for 15.05 and the en route time you'll get from your flight plan, I'll use Simbrief for that, is 8 hours 53 minutes. So that goes in the ETA most of the time en route. Airline ID, I'm British, fine British Airways, so that's BA. Once that's all in there, uh, we click the initial data, data link switch, which is this one here. Leave that for a second, you will then see that this route uh, will come up. I think it comes up loads, but we'll see we'll see give it a few minutes. On the second FMC, I usually, just for me, I click FMC, go to VNAV, and go to page 2. Because once you start populating it, this will then tell you how much fuel is predicted when you land at Chicago, so it just clarifies for yourself that you've got enough fuel. Okay, so it's come up send. So click on send. It's found that file, what we put in the 747 folder. So all we do is request that. It's coming up sending. Sent. Just wait for that and that will come up load, I think, next. Uplink's ready. So we click load, 
Let's say I load in the plan. You just wait for a while. You'll see this will go up to a few more pages once the route's in there. Okay. So now that's in, we can put the runway. So the, the runway we're going to be going from today, um, just clear this invalid entry code. Thing. We're going from 27 left at Heathrow today. That goes in the runway box. And then on your departures arrivals button here, click departures from, so this is departure from Heathrow. It's runway 27 left, which we're going from, and we're departing on the Omelette 1 Golf departure. So we find that, there it is, Omelette 1 Golf, and just click route. So now when we go, you've got your pages here 1 to 5, you scroll through them using the previous and next page. So the next page will take us to page 2, so you can see the Omelette 1 Golf is, is in there now. You can put an arrival in, um, I've got rough arrival information but that will probably change on route, it's predicting I'm going to be on a 2-8 right when we get there. So we'll go ILS 2-8 right and it's saying we're going to be on the Windy 1 arrival, so we'll find that. There it is, Windy 1. And the transition. Okay, so it will be via FMT Vogler. Back to route. Then just scroll through your pages, make sure there's no gaps in there. Okay, so everything's okay. What we do now is just activate that, execute. Okay, and then it's saying that the wind data uplink is ready as well, we'll do that in a second. So, preferred initial, um, just two left clicks on zero fuel weight, as long as you've loaded all your fuel, that will go in there. The reserve for this flight is 9.1, so nine, just over 9 tonnes of fuel. The cost index for this flight is 5.3, and our initial cruise altitude is 340. You see this then uploads FMC2 and then it's saying currently we're going to be there at 22.44 Zulu with 27 tonnes of fuel lift on board, which is quite a bit. If we go to the thrust limits, um, I usually just have selects to take off. Take off is Click on the centre of gravity percentage here, that will put the figure in there. If you just click on these, the V1s will already be in there. Sorry, you need to put the flaps in first. That's it, then the V references will be in. So it's flaps 10 takeoff. Just click on these to put your V's in. So that's your V1, V, rotate, V2 speeds. So they're in there now. So this 26.7 fuel will probably change because the weather data isn't in there. So if you go back to route, um, sorry, the legs page, route data, wind data load. This will then load the data into it. So now we've got Wesley Wind, and you'll see probably that this fuel prediction is going to drop a fair, bit, a fair bit because of the winds. There you go, so it's done right there. It's come down to 18 now because of the Wesley Winds. So we accept that. It's saying that destination forecast uplink is ready, but you would update that again later. But to put the destination forecast uplink in, Go to page 3 of the VNAV page. You've got forecast. OK, 
print next to that and then load and that will load the destination with data in there so that's in there now and then you can go back to VNAV page one for your takeoff the flight plans in and set and that's it ready um, for departure regarding the FMC flight plan um, I hope that helps some people thank you